Hi guys and welcome back to another exciting episode. In this episode we're going to have a look at shade solutions or weather solutions. This is our my place here and it's got this nice overhang which actually protects us in the rain or the sun. But we're going to have a look at umbrellas, pergolas, there's a whole multitude of different options out there. So stay tuned and we're going to cover that next. Okay so I thought we'd talk about the natural options first. This is the natural canopy of a panga fern and it's perfect for a shady situation. Obviously it's going to protect a little bit from the rain too. Now the advantage of uh, plants like this is that it's actually cooler sitting under a tree because when a tree transpires it produces like a, a moisture effect and when that moisture evaporates it actually is more cooling to sit under a tree than it is say an umbrella or a pergola. And obviously you're going to get a filtered light so you can imagine in a hot a tropical country like Rarotonga or somewhere like that where sitting under a palm tree is just perfect. Uh, downsides to this are it takes a while for trees to grow up into this sort of shape and obviously if you've got trees close to the house that can pose a little bit of a problem if they sort of blow over but they're not a bad solution some good uh, alternatives out there there's a, there's a silk tree some oak trees make good um, uh, shade shade trees for patios but yes you just have to be careful not to sort of plant them too close to the house maybe better out uh, further out into the garden and then you can create a nice little spot there where you can sit under okay so next we have shade umbrellas shade umbrellas are very versatile they come in a, um, a multitude of different shapes and sizes there are some that are very expensive and obviously they're more durable and there's some that are just kind of like a little bit cheap like this one uh, so if you just wanted to have something quick then this one will do this will probably set you back you know under a hundred dollars but the range goes all the way up to say three to four thousand dollars for proper commercial jobs that will be fine in all sorts of um, weather conditions those are the ones that you probably see at the sort of the tropical resorts very nice increasingly popular so can you can you pick your colors or do you have pretty much standard colors that you the frames is either black black or silver yeah and the canopy colors we've got a range of 20 different colors that you can choose from you can also put umbrellas um, very portable so you can put them on uh, wheels and casters and you can move them around the place okay so this is the okay this is a stand for the umbrella and this is actually on wheels if you have a look under there you can see you can see the wheels and then these go down these sprockets go down this is filled up with gravel and this little box in here goes on top and that's weighted down so that's an option they're a really good solution and there's yeah they range from fifty fifty dollars to four thousand uh, dollars upside to them yeah portability and um, just you know easy easy to install so this is this is the fiberglass here yeah, fiberglass and arms. that's just the aluminium yeah it's all marine down grade there. anodized aluminium all the latest stock comes with stainless steel spigots so 316 stainless steel throughout so everything is marine grade and it's made to be you know you can have them up anywhere true nice. uh, downside is yeah cheaper ones are not so durable and uh, you've got to be careful with the wind so um, the, these ones here uh, if it got windy they'd end up blowing away the commercial ones fine uh, to a point okay guys that's umbrellas let's have a look at uh, pergolas next okay guys this is the Louvertech systems and they've got powder coated aluminium posts yeah, and you can get your choice of colors in those and we've got the fin system these are automatic fin systems it's working price wise it works out around about 1500 a square meter if you're if if you're around about 12 square meters of actual pergola and uh, any more than that if you're less than that uh, then it can be up to i think they said about two thousand dollars but they've got some really nice options here they've uh, got screen screen shades and you've got some customizable glass doors here that you can walk out and close it so you can make it very much like a conservatory if you've got like an old pergola that you just want to zhuzh up a bit then you've got this option here where you can insert your Louvertech system into here these bits here are up the, are the um, gutterings 
This is the manual. I do prefer the automated. She was saying that apparently that's roughly on a on a on a on the projects will cost for automated around about eleven hundred dollars. So here we've got some different systems here. We've got um, some ones with side panels again that you can move to give you privacy. This one here is a concertina one, which we had a look at before, and side panels there. And the only other thing that we did have a quick look at was the sliding door option where you can make, move this as a sliding screen and that gives you and then lock it into place just one last thing to mention with most of these pergolas you've got a maximum width of about four meters by four meters any more than that and then you will involve a second pole that will will need to be put in just to give it an extra extra strength and durability and under windy conditions Another good option are shade sails, and they come in various shapes and sizes and colors and different prices. The prices would range from about $300 to about $10,000. I normally recommend that the best option is to put them on separate poles away from the house, as if they're attached to the house, they can, with the uplift from the wind, they can actually damage the house if, if it pulls off. Cabanas are another option if you want something a little bit more resilient to the weather. This is a perfect uh, solution and it comes in solid wood. You're a designer, you know. Sometimes you have to get this to match different design and the color or material. That's right, yeah. Mm. This would be real nice for like an alpine look, right. you know. <laughs> it's a retractable system far away. Okay. So at least that let, it lets a bit of light through too, so it's not yes. a look a complete block. What sort of span would that be? That's about... Um, this, is a, this, this was about two and a half meters. Two and a half meters. Is that the maximum you'd go with it? But you can go... No, you can... Sideways, lengthwise, it's, it is literally endless. Yeah. But you do obviously, the wider you go, the more supports, so you have to put them into uh, a series of, it can only span so much of a series. Ah, I didn't realise that would do that. Yeah. That's very interesting. So it gives it a bit more flexibility. Yeah. And there's a little spirit level underneath here, so you can, <laughs> level, you can level and thing back up again. Yep. Yeah, a little motorised one. Okay, guys, that wraps up the solutions for shade for the summer. And obviously today it's raining, so it's also solutions for the rain and, and all sorts of weather conditions out there, including windy. Some really nice ones there, especially like the, the Louvertech systems. Very, very modern and very popular in my plans at the moment. Uh, also the Shade 7 umbrella is very, very nice too. Okay, guys, we'll leave it there. If you've liked this video, if you've found something useful, then please like it and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.